This is kind of cool. She can officially become the youngest uh, guest on our show that has a microphone in front of her. Her name is Avery. Make sure I say your last name. Why don't you pronounce it for me? Go ahead. Swig. Swig. Avery Swig. She is nine years old here from North Texas with her dad, Ivan. Good morning, guys. Hey, how you doing? All hey. right. So, you play golf, but you don't just play golf. You win at golf. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ivan, <laughs> Ivan, she does win at golf, and I've got your bio in front of me. But give us an idea exactly how uh, your daughter, Avery, has gotten into golf. Well, I was, uh, this was probably, she was two years old, and I was playing uh, golf almost every day, and so she thought I worked at the golf course. It's kind of funny. So uh, she told her preschool class that uh, I worked at the golf course, but I didn't. I was in sales, and so she wanted okay, to Okay, that's what playing. every salesperson does, by the way, is they go to the golf course. That's right. Have you ever gotten busted playing at the golf course when you should have been making sales calls? I, I have. I have. And I, yeah. <laughs> not fun. <laughs> Especially with social media, you can't. You gotta, oh no! You don't check really, in at that golf course. Yeah, you got to be really careful. And tell your buddies not to take pictures of that eagle they got or that's, whatever. That's right. That's right. All right. So you're up. She uh, she's going to the golf course with you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, well, actually, just it was just before she'd go to Primrose Preschool every day. She'd say, "Hey, I want to golf," and so I got her a little putting mat, and she would putt four or five balls, throw the putter down, and run around the house. But she thought she was a golfer, and then each year it just progressed a little more. And when she was four, she started taking introductory lessons, and when she was Five, we threw in our first tournament. Okay. Avery, how did you feel when you when you hit the golf ball for the first time? Did you like it? Well, um, I can't remember, but I'm sure I was little. But I'm sure I was, like, really excited because it's my first time being on the golf course or putting. Uh, it's a different feeling, definitely, because golf's a really hard sport. Um, no, no other sport like it, definitely. So it probably felt... Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Well, let me tell you just how excited golf has been in your life. You actually hold the U.S. Kids female scoring record for the Dallas Tour in a single round. Eight under par 28 at the Tribute on 8-13 of of, of 2014. And the list of tournaments that you've won, and I'm not going to rattle them off because the show goes tonight. (laughs) Uh, But she is a remarkable golfer. Let's talk about what she's won. Go ahead. Well, she's uh, come in second in the world twice at the U.S. Kids. What else? Uh, well, I'm going to Augusta for the Dry Gym and Putt Championships. She's playing at the Masters coming up. <laughs> okay. Michael, she just said she's playing at the Masters. Did you get that? I know people that have tickets to the Masters, <laughs> and I'm not sure Kendall, how they do we watch yeah. the Masters. She's playing at the Masters. Uh, well, a couple things. In my understanding is you play off the ladies' tees. She at does. regulation golf she, tournaments? She does. I do. Yeah. And can I have your autograph at the end of the show? Yeah, I'm definitely sure. getting her picture at the end of the show. Okay, so, uh, but let's talk about some of the tournaments. She, she won at one point 78 out of 100 tournaments that she played in. She's won She's won 108 out of like 100, 190. 108 out of 190 <laughs> tournaments she's entered. So she's, she's won a lot, but a lot of them don't have big fields either. But it's still... Uh, it's just the process of learning how to win and play um, day in, day out. So Yeah, at her age, don't you just enter all of them as you can? Uh, yes. She, she's, uh, she, she loves to play. It's, it's much harder to get her to practice. And also, I'm not one of those <laughs> parents that makes her do anything. So we kind of have a plan for the week, and we say, hey, we're going to do this, this, and this. What do you think, Avery? Okay. And then as, as long as there's no deviation to the plan, then she's good. <laughs> Otherwise, she, she, uh, she, you know, just like anybody else, she doesn't like change too much. Yeah, she's a kid. Uh, the New York Daily News actually did an article on you guys. Uh, you've been featured on television, uh, national television, for several years because of just not only the, the game of golf itself, but you also have a very generous heart, and you've raised a, you know, a lot of money for people uh, over the last several years, dealing with all kinds of crises in their life, tell me the story about how you raised over ten thousand dollars to help out your janitor at school. Tell me about that. Well, um, I I raised seven thousand six hundred forty dollars for my janitor, but ten thousand for the year. Uh, two other local foundations did the rest of that money. Now, how did you do that? But for my janitor, so my school, everyone loves him. He's a very nice person. Um, 
when my school found out he was diagnosed with a type of cancer, they wanted to do something for him. And there was this big gathering. And that day, someone named uh, Rick Green called my dad, and he works for the um, Two Seam Dream Dream Foundation. And he said, can Avery wear wear my stuff? So my dad said yes, but he didn't know what what was going to happen, like if there was anything he was going to get out of it. But we did it, and he said yes. So that same day, there was this burger joint that um, all the all the kids in my school went to. There was literally a line around the building to go say hi to Mr. Jeff and donate and eat some food, and 10% of that bill would go to Mr. Jeff's funds. Nice. So um, when I got in the car, it was such a long line, and we weren't going to wait that long for dinner. We just got home from practice, really tired. Um, so... So I said, when we got in the car, we gave him a 20, said hi, and then we got in the car. I said, I wanted to do something. So my dad said, sure. Let's, and then, let's talk to Rick. So we talked to Rick Green, and we came up with the uh, Win Green for Jeff campaign. And that's how that kind of evolved last year. And it was really just out of her being a little bit frustrated because she wasn't able to talk to Jeff and, and wanted to donate uh, more than, I think they raised 500 or or $1,000. She wanted to make more of an impact, so... Rick and I helped put something together, and and this year it's grown in even into a larger kind of opportunity. And don't you love this this story? I mean, this is just amazing. I mean, uh, <clears throat> being at uh, nine years old, you're in the third grade. Uh, I think I was playing with Star Wars action figures <laughs> in the third grade. I'm pretty sure I wasn't playing golf, you know, or playing any kind of sport at that. Uh, I think it's amazing. Let's take a quick break, Michael. We come back. You've, you've got a, another cause that you're a part of, and I want to talk about that and how you're raising money, and hopefully maybe someone listening today can get involved and help to raise funds for uh, your next charitable cause. Uh, and I also want to hear about your golf game. I want to hear about that. You've got your own clothing line. I see that you've got your own logo on your shirts. That's, you're, you're big time now. You know that. <laughs> She's got the cutest smile of all. Sorry? We're going to take a picture in a second. All right, 747. We'll come back with a little bit more with Avery and Ivan and J. Kevin Clark. We'll see you in a few. All right, we're back, 751, right here on DFW Business Today. I'm joining the studio by J. Kevin Clark, our legal expert, and the youngest uh, person we've ever had in the studio on the microphone, Avery Zwig. Did I say your last name right? Swag. Swag. You did it again, Brian. Swag. We shouldn't, we shouldn't Swag. plant it out there with yeah. the two syllables. See, that's it, what it, it was. And, no, it's a conversation we had before the show I about know. people screwing it up on Sorry the first tee. But let me ask you a question. Uh, and Ivan's her dad as well is joining us. Uh, when she goes to tournaments... And they go ting off on hold hole number one. Mm-hmm. Avery, how do you say your last name? It's that, or they they do the little hand over their mouth beforehand, and then then they turn it into two syllables. So we're I got used you. to it. Yeah, I got you. And she's always last when they do alphabetically. So always last. Okay. Well, we talked about her uh, doing fundraiser for your janitor, and you raised over seventy six hundred dollars with that, and then ten thousand overall for that for that particular year but you've turned your attention to another story let's talk about that well won't you tell go ahead oh so um we're doing the same thing but my dad reached out mr rick green um who who did who does the two seam dream foundation and uh so he he's in louisiana and uh, my dad wanted uh, me to do some raise funds for someone else. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Green found someone else. His name is Casey Crow. Casey Crow. He's okay. from Monroe, Louisiana, and um, he's, he's two, two years old. He's two year, two years old, and he has um, a type of brain cancer. Yeah, neuro, he has neuroblastoma. So okay, he's been been admitted to St. Jude and. The cancer has been has subsided, but he's going to be under care for a long time. So, so you've got something organized that basically is because Win Green for Kaysen. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes. Let's talk about how you do that. Yeah. So, so how it works and how it worked last year as well is uh, Avery has a schedule from March till uh, through August, 
and people can pledge any amount, you know, $1 to 20 was usually the highest. And they're pledging if she wins, they donate that amount. But she's got 30 tournaments, so some people were paying. We had a lot of very generous people. Some people were paying $400. You know, she did pretty well last year. She won out of 29 events. We had three rain outs because all the rain <laughs> last year. Sure. And then she had uh, 16 wins and eight eight times she came in second. So she uh, so she earned that's that's how she earned the seventy six hundred dollars. This year uh, we're getting a little more ambitious. We'd like to raise twenty five thousand dollars, and we brought in two of her friends, um, one from Florida, and another one from Ohio. The, they're both elite players, and they'll both be playing schedules that are twenty to thirty tournaments each, and they'll raise money in their respective areas for for Kaysen. and um, and we hope to get some national traction as well to help help with the cause. Wow, and I think I see. Uh, Kevin, some corporate sponsors getting involved. Now, obviously, she's an amateur, so she doesn't, this money's not going to her. Right. It's going to a foundation or a charity. So, if you're listening to us right now, because we have a lot of corporations that, you know, people that work for rather large corporations that listen to us, if you want to sponsor Avery in her golf efforts, and all of this goes towards helping young Case and Crow in the Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, give us a, you know, reach out to us, or is there a website that they can go to? Abs- absolutely. Uh, you can go to averyswag.com. There's ways to uh, any of the social media venues, as well as... Um, and spell your last name, just so... Zweig, Z- a- Avery Zweig, Z as in zebra, W-E-I-G. And you can also go to uh, Love Golf Beat Cancer, and uh, that, that will take you right to a crowdfunding source uh, website, which uh, you can make a one-time donation, or if you want to make a... If you want to participate in the pledge campaign like we talked about, um, you just put a little note on there that you want to be pledging every time they play. Nice. So, And I've got all that linked up on our sweet. Fa- our Twitter as well. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. So Thank we can you. post that up. Now, uh, we've got a couple minutes left. What What is your favorite thing about golf, Avery? Uh, my favorite thing about golf, well, one, I love competition. Um, <laughs> like, I, I, en- I really enjoy practices that I practice with someone else. And we play a little game, like we do push-ups, and I, I love it. Um, the loser does push-ups. The loser does push-ups. Gotcha. <laughs> and, uh, Kevin and I would be doing a lot of push-ups. <laughs> We'd have big pectoral muscles. Uh, <laughs> another thing is um, I, I love getting to uh, meet new people around the world because if without golf, for, uh, for instance, I have this friend. Uh, her name is Chanel, and she lives in Africa. And I would have never been able to meet her if I didn't play golf. So it's just really fun for me. All right. I love it. We'll hear more of Avery's story. We come back. You're listening to 620 AM KEXB, your experts in business. We'll see you after the break. Went straight down the middle. Then it started to hook just a wee, wee bit. And that's when my caddy lost sight of it. That little white pellet has never been. I mean, little Avery in here can knock the cover off a golf ball, okay? Her dad recognized that at a very uh, young age, and uh, so that's what she does. And I think she's using golf to help others. Avery, you enjoy helping others through playing golf. Yes, I I do very, very much. Look how sweet she is. She she really is. And I just uh, thank you so much for helping these these little kids. I mean, some yeah. of your age just got the, the athletic ability that you've got, but you're stretching out and helping other people. That's just fabulous. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank thank you, guys. So when you win the Masters, we expect you to come back on the show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you giggle, but I'm serious. <laughs> uh, so who is your favorite professional golfer? Oh, well, um, I have a lot, but my favorite – girl is Brittany Lang. Okay. She is from McKinney. She's from McKinney. That's right. And um, I know who she is. She's a she's a good friend of mine. Um, and my favorite um, boy golfer is Jordan Spieth. Of course. Another North Texas guy. Nice. Dallas is not a, this area is not a bad place to play golf. No. Great courses, right? Good, great courses, good weather. You know, most of the year you have good weather. She has a lot of friends that she plays with at the world tournaments, but you know, they can only play six months a year because they live up north. So we're lucky here, yeah. for sure. I'll be, uh, we'll be up the uh, four seasons down there for the tournament. Uh-huh. The, um, Byron, Byron Nelson. Nelson. Byron Nelson. That's right. So you're going to go out there and check it out? 
I would imagine you make a you make an appearance there, right? Uh, I may, but we usually go to the North Texas Shootout. Yeah, the girl, the girls one. Okay, for sure, she loves that, and the, and they're very, very, just to promote that, they're very. Uh, they, they interact with the fans. They're encouraged to interact with them. Autographs, pictures, it's pretty cool. Nice. And just to kind of recap, if someone wants to get involved, a corporation wants to get involved uh, through their time, their fundraising efforts, uh, straight up donation, uh, boost the awareness. If you have a social media company and you want to help uh, young Avery, get her message out. How does somebody need to contact you guys? Uh, Win Green for Kaysen.com or LoveGolfBeatCancer.com. I love it. Two different ways. Absolutely love it. And um, I, I would imagine now, now you're nine. So when do you? When could she realistically turn quote pro? Well, they have limitations on that now because Michelle, we you know right. you know her story. They re- her father really pushed her out there when I think she was 14 she was pro essentially mm-hmm. so they have uh, there's different rules but like Lydia Ko for instance I think she just turned 19 and she's won multiple times when she was 17 she won three events they said okay you can be pro now like she got sponsors exemptions and played three events and won them and so there's different rules and you know we're way away from that let's just focus on uh, the schedule we have this year, let's focus on winning winning some money for Kaysen. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, she's got a plan and a process that we work on every day. And and she's very, a very focused little girl and very proud of that because a lot of people, it's very hard to have that focus in life in general, much less when you're nine. So. No, I would agree with you wholeheartedly. Okay, a couple questions before I let you go because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out a little bit more about Avery here. What's your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie. I really love the short game. It's a uh, a movie about these these kids from around the world, and I I know I know most of them. Golf I've movie. Met. It's yeah. a golf movie. Okay, it's a golf movie. About eight, eight year olds from a couple years ago. What's your favorite thing to eat? Mm. Spaghetti and chocolate, not together. Sure, <laughs> that would be kind of. But even though you never know, my my favorite movie was Elf, and he had. Uh, That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, there you go. Let's see, we're we're, a, we're more alike than you think. And Avery, what's uh, do you have a nickname? Um, I do. Well, my dad calls me the Nugget. The Nugget. nugget. Hanging out with the Nugget this morning. Awesome. I can see that. Well, you are a nu- you're a little gem of a Nugget, and you're very special. Of course, you're helping these uh, kids and your janitor that you did last year at your school is amazing. You you're a phenomenal guy. Go- like I said, I could Kevin, I could sit here and rattle off. Oh, I don't have my glasses on, but I could rattle off a list of tournaments and awards that she has won, and it's. Look, it's a full it's two, page, it's single, two I mean, pages, single two space. pages of stuff. Um, <laughs> incredible. So if you want to uh, get involved and help her, uh, help others, uh, go to her website. Go to the, uh, one more time. Avery'sWag.com, LoveGolfBeatCancer.com, uh, and uh, Win Green for Kaysen. There you those, go. Any of those avenues. All right. We'll take a quick break, come back. Um, we'll continue our conversation with J. Kevin Clark. And uh, I'm going to... Stick around. Can I get a picture with you before we leave? Yes. All right, cool. Taking a selfie with Avery. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll come right back.